So I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to add a PDF to an assignment for students to be able to annotate or write on top of it or add text boxes on top of it and then being able to submit that to turn that in. Now, uh, anytime you want students to write on top of something or be able to type uh, directly on top of something that's already created, then it has to be in a PDF format. If you wanted them simply to open it up and type inside of a document, uh, then you would use like a Google Doc or something like that where they would simply click to open it up and then be able to click inside of it and type and add whatever they want. Um, but annotating on top of something um, actually uses like um, PDFs and annotation tools. So, um, and there's multiple ways to do this, but this is the workflow I think probably works the best. So when I open up a course on the left-hand side, uh, you'll see an option called Files. And if I go to Files, it's the same thing that shows up in my home page. Anytime I go to a, any page and I edit, um, I have this Files link that shows up in the upper right-hand corner. This is the same one, but it's kind of a tiny little box and it's kind of hard to see everything in one thing. So I think if you go here to the main Files page, it gives you a little bit more space to deal with it. So the first thing I'd recommend that you possibly do here is you make a folder and just call it PDFs. Um, this is going to make it simply easier to store and organize your stuff. Now you could make a folder for every unit and save things in there as well. Um, it's up to you how you organize it, but I just recommend putting it in its own folder just to make it a little bit easier to find. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to call it PDFs and I hit this checkbox here. Now here's my folder. I click on it. It opens it up and it's empty. Now the beauty about the files section here is I can literally drag and drop things right from my computer right into this. So here is a, a PDF flyer I made for rollout that we're using to pass out to students. I could just drag that in here and it adds that PDF right into my files course. And then any other um, PDFs that I had, I could do the same thing. Uh, just drag and drop um, to be able to add these directly into um, that area as well, which is pretty uh, cool. I could also choose upload, navigate, and find the files on my computer and insert them that way if I want to. But um, anyway, that's how I can go ahead and insert files. Now, once I've done that, now I'm going to go over to my assignments. And in my assignments, I have an assignment called a PDF assignment that I haven't published yet that I want to put a PDF into. So I'm going to open up this assignment and I'm going to go to edit. And all I've done so far is given it a title and some directions where I want to give them a PDF and I want them to open it up uh, right on top of it and submit it back to me. So in here, I can simply type in my directions. I could even record a media comment of myself giving them direct instructions on what I want them to be able to do with it if I don't want to type it up. And I'm just going to hit return to go down a line and I need to insert that file. Now, so to get it in here, now I can go over here to files. And you'll notice there's a whole bunch of stuff in here in this file section, but because I made this nice little PDF folder, if I click on PDFs, now here is my rollout flyer right here. So if I click on that, it simply drops it in here, calls it the exact same thing. Um, if I didn't want it to choose that name, I could also type in um, just any word that I wanted or an image or something, highlight it, and then click on it, and it would also link it that way. Either way works the same way, just whether or not I want the actual name of the file or I want to make my own name for it. And now I can go through and give it my points. So I want this to be an online submission um, because they are going to submit something online. And this is going to be something that's called a file upload, where they are going to actually upload this and submit it back uh, to me. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that the same. I can choose my attempts, all my other uh, settings, give it a date. Let's make it to Friday. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and publish. Now, if a student wants to fill out this assignment, what they're going to do is they are going to go into their Canvas app and they're going to go ahead and open up that course. And they're going to find that assignment, which again, I called a PDF assignment. Here it is. And they will see the uh, links for my PDFs, either one. I made two of them, either one of them will work the same way. And then when they tap on that link, it's going to open up uh, my PDF flyer here. And up here at the top, you're going to see a little annotation tool. And if you click on that, you get this nice little toolbar of different annotation tools that you can use to fill out this PDF. So in this toolbar, I have a lot of different options of th things that I can do. Um, and anytime you see this little tiny triangle in the corner of one of these tools, that means there's actually more tools underneath it. So if I press and hold on this tool here, I can actually choose to highlight text, underline text, squiggle text, or strike through. So if I set it to highlight and simply highlighted some text, 
it would go ahead and highlight it. And I can change the color, opacity, things like that. Um, if I were to press and hold and say squiggle, then any text I highlight, I drag my finger across it and it puts little squiggle lines underneath it. Or again, press and hold and maybe I'll do a strike through and drag and it'll strike through that text as well. Um, now I do have the ability to add my own text if I choose the text box tool and again I can press and hold. There's other uh, text options in here. A plain text tool will simply allow me to click and add a box to type in some text. Uh, and then with that text I can click, I can drag, I can resize, I can move it around anywhere I want. Another option which is kind of cool underneath that text button if I press and hold there's an option called a call out. And what that does is when I click, it gives me a little box to type in um, that gives you maybe some directions that points to something. So maybe I want to say, uh, open your camera and hover over the code. And then again, I can go ahead and click off of that. And now I can actually move this whole thing around. I can click the arrow and point it at direct different things. And I can even rearrange where I want all of my different parts or elements to go, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I still have this right here is what's called a pencil tool or marker tool. This allows me to write and draw. The only thing that this tool does is when I do it, it gives me a white background. So if I write, it will allow me to write, but it's going to put a white box behind things. Um, if I don't like that or don't want that, I can undo here. And this little tool with the little magic wand, if I click on that, that does the same thing, but without the white background. Uh, this is my, my color here. I can change the color to whatever I want. And then this will allow me to write on things without having the white border behind it. So that's the difference between these two. This is simply a highlighter tool that allows me to highlight things just by clicking and dragging. I have an eraser tool to erase anything that I messed up on. This is an arrow tool that when I click, um, I can actually click and drag to make an arrow pointing to things. Uh, again, it has some options underneath it. If I press and hold, I can also draw shapes with it, circles, rectangles, uh, and it actually will give me the ability to, again, just click with my finger or tap and drag, and it'll create that shape for me automatically. I do have a link button here too. So if I click on this, uh, I can draw a box over something, maybe this Holman sticker here. And this allows me to make it a link to either uh, a different uh, page or actually a link to a website. So I could actually link this to holman.psdr3.org if I wanted to, and then somebody uh, tapped on it, uh, it would uh, take them directly to uh, that site. So it'll actually give you a little preview. This is the website it's going to link it to. And when I hit done, it has now made this a link that if someone clicks on it, it will actually take them to that website, which is pretty cool. So. Um, so these are the options. I could go ahead and move this toolbar. I can actually click on these lines at the bottom and move it to the right, to the left. I can actually move it up here to the top if I want, and it'll make it a horizontal toolbar at the bottom. So I can adjust it to make it whatever it is that I want. Now, once I'm happy with my changes and I've done all my annotations that I need, now I'm going to hit my share arrow up here. And once I hit share, uh, in my list of options that shows up, but you'll notice I have a bunch of different ones that uh, I have to choose from here. Um, there is an option called Can uh, Canvas Student. You'll see my app right here. So if I click on Canvas Student, all I have to do now is I could type in any comments that I want to. It should remember the name of the assignment and the name of the course that this came from since I opened it from this assignment in this course. So I could say this was fun. And then go ahead and hit submit, and then this assignment will get submitted. So I've shared my assignment under the share arrow, told it to go to Canvas, and linked it to that assignment. Now that I've done that, I can simply verify by going back to that PDF assignment, and it should now say it's successfully submitted. It may take a second or two until this updates, uh, but it has now been uh, submitted in there uh, successfully. So if I needed to uh, go back and resubmit it for some reason, let's say the teacher gives you multiple attempts, I could go ahead and click on it again, go back into my annotation, um, do whatever other changes I need to be able to do to it, and then I'll follow the exact same process. Click on my arrow, go back to student, and then again, it automatically shows it, PDF assignment, and I hit submit, and that will submit it again, assuming that assignment allowed multiple attempts. So that's what it takes to write and annotate directly on top of PDFs.